Here are a couple of tips for drawing, sizing, and moving shapes on slides. I'm on the Home tab as you can see, and up here in the Drawing area I've got my most commonly used shapes. In fact, if I click the little drop down underneath the commonly used shapes, uh, you'll see the entire shape gallery there. But let's say I want to draw a square. I can click the Rectangle tool and draw to what I think is a square. But is it really a one-to-one -one square? Well, I'm not sure. I have difficulty drawing exactly the right shape. And uh, the way to remedy this is to hold down the Shift key when I'm drawing. And now let's choose the Rectangle tool, hold down Shift and draw. And when you release the mouse button, you have a perfect square. Same thing is true of the Oval tool. I can just draw a oval using the tool freehand or I can select the tool, hold down shift, drag, and I have a perfect circle. And uh, it's, it's also true of the triangle tool. If I were just to draw, I'd end up with an isosceles triangle. If I want to be sure it's an equilateral triangle, however, I select the tool, hold down shift, and draw. And there's my equilateral triangle. All right, now I'm going to drag around all of these shapes and delete them because the next thing I want to talk about is lines and in fact straight lines. I'm going to select the line tool, hold down shift and draw across my slide to make a perfectly straight line. Now if I just uh, select the line tool and draw freehand, I can draw that line at any angle I want. But for it to be straight, hold down shift and drag and it will be straight. Here's a trick that many people are unaware of. Any of these shapes can be right clicked and locked in drawing mode. Let's say I want to draw several rectangles. If I dr lock drawing mode, I can then draw without coming back up to that shortcut and selecting the drawing, uh, the rectangle tool between drawings. I can just keep drawing until I press the escape key, which turns off the rectangle tool. All right. But none of these are perfect squares. What if I want to lock that drawing mode and draw a bunch of perfect squares? This is a, a terrific little tip. Right click, lock the drawing mode, and then each time you touch the slide, a perfect square will be drawn. Don't worry about their size. We're going to resize them in a moment. Let's do the same thing with the circle tool. The oval tool, really, but we're going to make circles because we're going to lock the drawing mode and simply click on the slide. And you can see it makes one-to-one uh, -one aspect ratio circles. And now finally, let's do that with the equilateral triangle. Click, 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 and click, and we've got four equilateral triangles. Now that's cool enough, but watch this. Let's select all of our objects, and let's say we want to move them. Pressing the left arrow key will move them a bit left, the right arrow key up or down, uh, but you notice that they're jumping a certain number of pixels each time. If you just want to nudge them a little, hold down the control key and use the arrow keys to nudge them. Very small increments. There's a grid pattern on your slide which is invisible, but these objects will snap to grid when you press the arrow keys to move them around and holding down control suppresses that. Uh, but there's a couple of other things you can do too. If you were to hold shift and use your up arrow key, you will resize them up, snapping to grid each time. The left brings them in, the right brings them back out, and um, holding down Alt, this is pretty amazing, will rotate them left or right in 15 degree increments and you can move them and uh, resize them all at the same time. But if you hold down shift and drag them, they will all resize as one-to-one -one aspect ratio uh, perfectly shaped objects. Okay, so those are a few uh, pretty cool tricks having to do with drawing, shaping, resizing, and moving objects.